And we're underway. Looking at these two men, I don't think there's going to be anything traditional about this one-on-one -on -one matchup. And this is one of those matches where it's hard to believe we get paid for this. Well, actually, it's hard to believe Saxton gets paid for anything. Butterfly suplex, the end is near. When it comes to matches like this, I'd say the more innovative a superstar is when it comes to offense, the better chance they have of victory. As Byron mentioned, innovation certainly is a key in a match like this. A competitor can't be adverse to taking action outside the ring. By no means is this your traditional contest. No, it's not, Cole, but at the same time, you still win this match the old-fashioned way by pinfall or submission. Pick the leg. Oh, man. That'll tear your hamstring. He gets it with a reversal. Real quick reminder, guys, there are no disqualifications and no countouts in this one. Anything is legal. Oh, and there are enough weapons under the ring to fill an armory. If an opponent exhibits a weakness for a specific move, some will return to utilizing that move as long as possible. As Corey mentioned, there's a treasure trove of weapons under the ring. Everything from kendo sticks to steel chairs to fire extinguishers. If you can think about it, it's probably under there. And when that's the case, it's not a matter of if you're going to get hurt. It's a matter of how badly you're going to get hurt. He's making a statement here with this attack. Oh, man. Guys, you never know what you're going to see in a match like this. And if you need proof of that, just go back to watch Daniel Bryan versus King. Big move. Message delivered. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? Uh, I think this is the beginning of the end. Not the first time we've seen this move tonight. What's coming next? Taking their time. Ah, oh, punch to the gut. I think the wind right out of you. As Corey mentioned, Daniel Bryan versus Kane in 2014 provided scenes we never thought we'd see. Most notably for me was Bryan carrying Kane back to the ring via a forklift. That's right out there, Michael, but let's not forget that was also the match where Kane went through a flaming table. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Look at this. He's going back to an old friend with that one. If you ask me, guys, matches like this where there are essentially no rules are one giant free-for-all where absolutely anything can happen. Larry! Oh, man! Inside out. I gotta tell you, these guys are in the best shape I've ever seen them in. I like the way you describe this match, Byron. It's one giant free-for-all. And while it's exciting to watch, it's absolute torture on these superstars. It is, Cole. And unfortunately, matches like this usually result in injury. Sometimes serious injury. I gotta say, watching this match, I'm definitely seeing similarities to the May 2016 Extreme Rules match where Roman Reigns defended his double. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. 
Nice job getting out of the way of that one. When it comes to brutality, I would agree with Michael Cole's assessment. He's looking at it. Ow! That hurt! I knew it was only a matter of time. For broke. Uh oh, this doesn't look good, Byron. Yeah, this is how people end up getting hurt. Perhaps trying to figure out the next move here. Whatever the case, Michael, this is an impressive show of strength. Looks like he's pinpointing the back. Straight right to the mouth. Oh boy, he is rolling. Corey, tell me, just how much strength does carrying your opponent around like this take? Let's put it this way, Cole. Saxton would never be able to do it. This might be big. Quick take down there. This could be huge. Of course, Extreme Rules matches have resulted in some gruesome moments over the years, and perhaps none was more gruesome than in 2012 when Brock Lesnar busted John Cena open following a vicious attack. Twice as nice. As Byron mentioned, Lesnar's attack on Cena in 2012 was without question gruesome. And furthermore, I don't think I've ever seen John Cena manhandled like he was on that night. Yeah, Lesnar definitely brought it to Cena that night. But what's truly amazing is that John Cena eventually found a way to win that match. Leg kick! When this guy's on, look out. Obviously putting a lot of stock in that maneuver. I'll tell you, watching Extreme Rules matches make me happy. My in-ring days are behind me. You talk about a treacherous environment to compete in. The body's taking some abuse here, but nothing that can't be shaken off. This is a treacherous match indeed, as Corey was saying. I can't even tell you how many times we've seen Extreme Rules matches result in broken bones, stitches, and even trips to a medical facility. Big move coming! Wait for it! Tongue and death grip. That should do it. That's borderline dirty, if you ask me. What a clothesline! Ouch! Wisely bringing the action back into the ring. I can't believe everything that's transpired thus far. It's been so physical. Oh, he's such a tough target. Unleashing it for the second time now. Oh boy, he is rolling. Look out, look out, this could be it! How impressive was that? Just sending your foe crashing to the canvas. That's what he was looking for, Michael. That slam just brought this entire arena to its feet. Things are not looking very good right now. Gonna have to find a way to regroup. Oh, this ends right here. He's got it. Oh, I think this man needs business. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match. He's got him covered. This singles contest has a victor.